Hey there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. I just wanted to do a little follow-up video from the reveal of these Yarnsmiths Pebble Haze yarns because obviously I did an introduction to them but I wanted to let you know how I found actually working with them because obviously I hadn't done it at that point and it's a very very important part of when you're buying yarn and knowing which yarns to go for. So I'm going to be completely honest, I'll say the good along with the bad um, and yeah, we'll just I'll just let you know how my experience has been with these new yarns. Now Yarnsmiths is available from Wool Warehouse, but I ordered four balls of the Pebble Haze Prince DK. And if you want more specific information about them, then you can watch the other video. Um, so with it being a DK, everything I've done, I've used a four millimeter hook for. Now, I've started two different projects with these yarns. So one of which was a vintage inspired granny square, which is, which is this one here. So as you can see, it's working up absolutely beautifully. The yarn itself has got really gorgeous, gorgeous shades. So this is the one that I was using for the arcade stitch, which I'll show you in a minute as well. But the yarn works up really, really nicely. I'll just see if it'll focus on let me move that actually out the way. I'm trying to see whether you can see it's got those little fuzzy texture to it. And so I'm going to start with the, the negative because I just want to get them out of the way first of all. So it's not a massive negative working with slightly fuzzy yarn because it just means it's so soft and really, really nice drape that you can get with it as well. But obviously the downside to any sort of fuzzy yarn is frogging it can be an absolute pain in the neck. Um, so obviously when you make a mistake all and you need to rip it out, all of those tiny little fibres can get caught up next to each other and pulling them out can become a little bit of an issue. So when you're working with any sort of slightly fuzzy yarn like these, you're just going to have to take that little bit of extra care. And if you do need to frog, please do it slowly. <laughs> if you just start to rip it out really, really quickly, you will get a knot and it will probably snap. But if you do it slowly, one stitch at a time, you can obviously frog it, but you just need to take that little bit of extra time to do it. Um, the second downside that I've found is a downside purely just for me. Um, everyone else I've spoken to that has used this yarn has not had this issue. I think I just had a real bad look when it came to this particular ball. So when the very first ball that I used of this yarn, before I'd even got probably a third of the way into the ball, I'd had six joins. Now that is a lot of joins to have in any ball of yarn, never mind in the first third of a ball of a yarn of a ball of yarn. So six joins, and I did actually post on Instagram about it saying, is it just me? Is everybody having this issue? And it literally was just me. I didn't really find anybody else that had had that issue. Everyone was saying that their cakes had been absolutely fine and they'd had no joints at all. So I do genuinely think I just got um, a random dodgy ball. So I'm definitely not going to hold that against them because the second ball and the third ball that I have used, I have not had any joints in them whatsoever. So it really was just bad luck on the first ball that I used of this particular yarn. So like I say, it's a negative that I came across, but I don't think it's a negative that is going to impact anybody else really because like I say I'm the only person <laughs> that I've found so far that has had that issue and all of the other balls that I have used have been absolutely wonderful. So again so this is the beautiful granny square that I've been making up using that particular shade and I will of course leave a link for this lacy granny square in the description box. Um, so that is that one and then I started and then I started this absolutely beautiful scarf in another shade of the Pebble Haze prints. And I'm loving how rich these colours are and how nicely this is working up. So obviously you can use this stitch for a blanket as well. But I was just making a lovely scarf with it. So the plus points of this yarn is that it is really lovely to use. It flows nicely. It doesn't drag or pull on the hook or anything like that. It's very, very soft 
and it's also really good value. These are actually still on sale for £6 each, which is an absolute bargain, I think. I'm not sure when that introductory price will change, but when it does, they will be £10. But like I say, at the moment, they are still 6 and you can make an entire project just from one ball of this yarn. I am intrigued to see how it holds up in the wash. I think it will hold up really, really well. But obviously, as always, I never just stick my projects in the wash to do them. I always make sure that they're wrapped up and protected inside an old pillowcase. And that's securely tied. So I've never had any issues with washing any of the yarns, to be honest. But these ones, like I say, the negatives, slightly fluffy, so it can be an issue to frog. And then that issue I had with that first ball. But the positives are endless. The colour selection are beautiful. The colour changes are really soft and very, very gentle. The colours are really true to what you see on the website as well. That's always an issue, I think, when buying yarn online. You can't squeeze it. You can't see how vibrant the colours are in real life. You have to just cross your fingers and hope for the best. But the colours on the website are definitely true to how they are in to the naked eye. So that's another massive plus for this yarn. Like I say, there are lots of other yarns in the Yarnsmith range now, which I'm looking forward to trying. Sorry, the kitten's just decided to attack the scratch post. Um, but I have definitely enjoyed using this yarn. So as I say, I've still got this gorgeous ocean colours to use, and I just don't know what to make with this one yet. So if you have any suggestions, do let me know in the description box or if there's a stitch that you want making for a tutorial and you think this yarn would be good for it again let me know in the comments and I can hopefully do a tutorial for you. Now I know that my videos have been a little bit hit and miss lately Um we've had a good few weeks without anything going on to my channel and I do apologize for that obviously as you know I do usually like to get a video out every single week but there has just been some personal and family things that have taken precedent recently, rightly so, obviously. <laughs> um, but hopefully, going forward, things will get a little bit back to normal, but I just can't say for sure at the moment how regularly I will be uploading to YouTube, but also to Instagram as well. Obviously, I've not posted there either. But thank you, as always, for sticking around with the channel. Thank you for continuing to watch my videos. And I will hopefully see you for another video and tutorial really, really soon. But if you want any more detailed information about the Pebble Haze prints, then do check out the link in the description to watch the original introduction video. But that is it for this one, and I will see you again very soon. But thanks as always for watching, and bye for now.